Were you called? Did you answer? Did you understand? Are you prepared for the journey? Why are we called? And were we called to be missionaries for the Lord? Do we take our charge seriously? Or do we join up because we were bored? Do we have the spirit of a missionary deep within and shining out? Do we know for sure? Or sometimes do we doubt? Well, we need to pray about what we are professing to be called to do. Because it's an awesome ministry if the Lord has called you. Now that you pray, and the answer has been yes, we now have to strive to give Jesus our best. We have to work while it's a day doing whatever is necessary to fulfill our mission as God's missionary. We must be humble and gentle to one another. Be a help to the Lord, not a stumbling block to our sister and brother. We must be workers of witness, firm but gentle and kind, letting others see in us the love of Jesus, lifting him up, making sure no soul on our watch is left behind. We should feel privileged that God looked down upon the sea of eternity and chose a special one out of millions and millions to be his missionary. It's a calling from God, so be prepared. Even though we might not be literally beaten as was Paul, remember the devil was also no listening when we heard God's call. So we must put on our armor and our shield to prepare to battle the enemy wherever and whenever necessary. For he walks around seeking whom he may devour. He is our adversary. We must stay prayed up to stay strong, asking God to strengthen us for the journey he is sending us on. For sometimes we might be sent out into sharp infested waters without a boat or an earthly raft to lean upon. We will be called upon to witness even to our enemy to win them to the army of the Most High. We might be called upon to literally hold up the bloodstained banner until we die. So if you're sure you're called to be a missionary, it is an honor to be chosen by God. But if you're not sure, then ask him to let you know what he has, has for you to do on earth's side. For he has a work for all to do, for the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Because he wishes for no soul to perish, all souls belong to him, and all souls he does cherish. So your mission and service might not be the same as mine. But all work, all work for the Lord is important to make sure that no soul on your watch is left behind.